Hi, I'm Dr. Nora Isakoff. I teach here at Columbia and I also work with CRI. Here at Columbia, I teach in the psychology department and I teach two seminars that I designed. One is called Language and Mind. That's about the relationship between language and the way that we think. How do those influence each other? Um, how does the language that you speak affect the way that you think? And the other one is called Consciousness and Cognitive Science. And that basically says, how is it that we're in a body, we have a brain, we're a physical being, and yet we experience the world around us. We experience pain and heartache and joy. And right now the air is pretty cool and I can smell the flowers around me. How is it that our brain allows us to experience all of that? And that's what we explore in my classes. Crimson Research Institute is an opportunity for high school students to really delve into their own interests and work with experts in the field, people that are college professors that have really published on a topic, in order to explore their own interests and, and learn not just the way you would from a textbook, but learn the way that a real person working in the field works. And that might mean doing some library research, it might mean designing your own experiments, um, it might mean really working in the field so that you can be a scientist yourself if, if that's something you're interested in. People come to Crimson Research Institute as high school students. So they're very young still. Maybe you don't have a whole lot of experience, but often you have a lot of curiosity. What you really want to know is what does it really mean to do your own research? You have all these big questions and how do you even begin to take that first baby step to get somewhere with it? And my role as an instructor is to feed off of your excitement, feed off of your curiosity, and help to guide you. So I'm not there to give you the answers. What I'm there to do is to help you to learn to think like someone in my field. So to help you to ask the right questions, to help you to get around obstacles, and to help you to really explore your interests, follow your instincts, and become a researcher yourself. People come to CRI and they choose a package anywhere between 10 hours and 50 hours working with an instructor, someone like me. And we really are pretty flexible about how that works. Very often it's a meeting once a week. It can be more or less depending on your exact needs. If you're in the 10 hour package, you'll probably do more like writing a research paper, learning about what's already out there. If you're in the 50 hour package, you really have a chance to do your own experiments, collect your own data and analyze it. I've been really inspired by the research that some of my students at Crimson have been doing this year. And I have actually been learning a lot myself, just reading with them and working with them. So one of my students is really interested in the perception of time. For example, imagine you're sitting in an airport and you're waiting for the plane and only an hour's gone by, but it feels like it's been 10 hours. And then you go on your vacation and you're on the beach and you're having a great time and it's actually been 10 hours, but it goes so fast and it feels like it's been an hour. Why is that? Why does that happen? Um, and it turns out it's more complicated than you might think. And so that student has been running his own experiments about time and we're collecting data and it's been really exciting because he has his own hypotheses that no one has tested before. And it turns out so far the data is showing that he's right. And so this really could be kind of groundbreaking. Another example is a student who is interested in power and hierarchies. So maybe someone seems like they're sort of more powerful than another person. And how does that develop? And so she's been doing more of a literature review, meaning not her own research, but reading lots of articles to learn about this. And she's been looking at infant data and young child data. So what do babies think about who's more powerful than someone else? Does race play a role? Does gender play a role? Does physical size play a role? And I've been learning a lot working with her as well, and it's been really exciting. So one difference between working with college students and working with students at Crimson is that when I'm at a university, there's this whole thing about grades that kind of gets in the way because I have to measure in terms of some way that's sort of standardized among students, I have to give people a grade at the end of the semester. And that means that that, has to, that sort of plays a role. And what's really cool about Crimson is it's for you. So students will ask me things like, how long does my paper have to be? And I say, this is your project. 
I can't give you an answer because I'm not grading you. We're working together, we're really collaborating. And in the end, this is about your personal growth, about you developing skills and about you looking after your own curiosity. And that uh, makes for a really wonderful dynamic that's, that's really full of joy. So if you're interested in doing your own research and you're in high school, I have a few pieces of advice. One is that we all need mentors. No matter what stage of your life you're in, whether you're a child, whether you already have a Nobel Prize, it doesn't matter. We all learn from each other. No one is the top expert in anything. I'm constantly learning from my Crimson students, from my colleagues, from everyone around me on the streets. And so if you're interested in doing research, finding someone that's doing the kind of research that you're already interested in and reaching out to them is one of the best pieces of advice I can give you. Don't be shy about that. Everyone wants to offer what they have to offer and to collaborate. So you don't have to be nervous about doing that. And something else I would say is just to follow your own curiosity. Um, if you're interested in something, it's worth pursuing. And the third thing I would say is to be patient, to give yourself time to learn. There's an entire millennia or, or more in, in any given field. And people have been approaching topics for, for so long. And so it's okay if you have a, just a little bitty project that you're starting off with. You don't have to feel like, oh, but I wanna do everything right away. Take your baby steps and eventually you'll learn more and more. So one thing that really characterizes my own approach to research is that I love interdisciplinary work. So no matter what field you're in, there are certain assumptions that go with that. So for example, if you're in psychology or linguistics or computer science or neuroscience or philosophy, you're gonna think in certain ways that are sort of constrained by those fields. And me, I have my BA is in linguistics. My PhD is in cognitive psychology. I did my postdoc after that in education. And I took classes actually in all those fields. Um, when I was in grad school, I took classes in all those fields I just mentioned and collaborated with people across those fields. And so that's something I really love to bring to my work with CRI students is let's not just look at a question from one way, let's look at it from every possible direction and let's work together with experts in all these fields fields and together we can kind of get closer to whatever the truth is. If you'd like to learn more about Crimson Research Institute and you're interested in getting involved, click one of the links below and I hope to work with you soon. Mm -hmm.